That was called a reset for good measure. Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky of Three, Absence of Justice. In the last episode, we got a bad ending. Again. Let's see if we can get a better ending this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm just fooling around, being crazy beans. Um, did the sound go... I hope it didn't go... It would be terrible, terrible if it went. <laughs> okay, it sounds working. <laughs> Cue the piano! So yeah, uh, those of you who were watching my last stream, that was Anti-Idol, the game, on Congregate. Highly recommend it if you have nothing better to do, or if you want to waste a whole bunch of time doing crazy stuff. <laughs> that makes it kind of like this game, actually. So yeah, we are back here. Let's go. Actually. Hey, my name, my name, my name. Um, these are my levels. I renamed all my dudes. So yeah, let's get started. In the last episode, we confronted Razbarrel trying to, uh, the. Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. We've already seen this cutscene. Let's get straight to the nonsense. Oh, <laughs> I'm still used to the Disgaea 2 controls. This guy are two trolls. Heal some of my dudes. Starting with you, I guess. Did I not plus two her heal skill? You must defeat Shang Long to stand a chance. I well, you know that the volume's all wonky. I can alt tab into Windows to fix it. We're weak to ice, but that shouldn't matter. I guess it did matter. Hold R2 during an overly long animation. You can skip the animation. It is the most amazing thing. Of course, we're just getting started. We can we are fine with animations. Even though it'll probably take me longer than two hours to finish the chapter. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mal learned a new attack. Blast Finger! It's Star Elemental. 
which means nobody resists it. Resists it. Resistance. So yeah, stuff. Um, let's, let's see if we can launch Dunban over where he can do some use. Why they give Dunban an axe? Who knows? It's just one of those things. Mal actually is pretty decent with axes, but we're going to have him use swords for a while. I'm thirsty. Good day. Oh, this could be bad. Alright, nobody died. So we are okay. Ooh. Okay, somebody died there. Alma has also learned a new attack. Spinning Sword Dance. No bad ending for you, Barrel. <laughs> uh, Almas, you are such a thing. Somebody just died. Something. Oh, wait, you know what? My magic change ran out. That's what it is. Mind if I ask you a question? We all need to see the rest of these animations. Oh, why did I think that was a spear? Time for you to die. <coughs> what an amazing honor student you are! How unsportsmanlike, using the hero as a shield! <laughs> Sir Hero, I'm very sorry. Our rescue mission has ended in failure. Well, like I said, I'm just about to get my title back, so please, don't do anything unnecessary. Damn it! Curse you! You can hear that all the way inside Mal's heart. Oh no! Breaking our curfew will make our parents very happy! <laughs> yes! It's our self-imposed curfew that our parents strongly objected to! There's a misplaced apostrophe there. I don't think that counts as a curfew anymore. <laughs> this time, saved by the bell again, Mal. Demons who follow curfews? That's strange, isn't it? <laughs> That's why they're delinquents. Oh well, it's not that big a deal to break curfew every once in a while. <laughs> You're thinking like a normal demon now. You could probably join the hall monitors. Huh? 
you just said, without provocation, that it's no big deal to break curfew. That's the honor student's way. What? No way! Me? A demon honor student? Th this has to be a joke. It's because of the title. <laughs> hey, don't be so modest. You're my slave. I'd be worried if you weren't at least this bad. But I'd make a terrible demon. I came here to defeat the Overlord so that I can protect the princess. What? What? Oh no, I accidentally let my mission slip and told him everything. Is he gonna kill me? This, uh, princess. Is she that important? Huh? No matter how hard you try, you could never beat my dad. Are you saying this princess is more important than your life? Th that's right. No one's more attractive or wonderful than the princess. She's beautiful, noble, valiant. She's a very kind lady who willingly helps those in trouble. She's so attractive, it's no wonder the evil and cruel overlord is trying to kidnap her. You're telling me that my dad is after this princess of yours. Yeah, well, that's the rumor anyway. They say the princess herself told some people, so it's gotta be true. That's why I came to defeat the overlord, so that I can be of some use to her. A hero must act with courage to protect that which is precious. Huh? I won't let a filthy demon... I won't let the Overlord take my princess! I, Almos von Almondine Adamant, am willing to die for my princess! There's no need for you to beat my dad if you're doing it for your princess! Why is that? Is it because you're gonna defeat him, Lord Mal? Indeed! <laughs> well, that's the plan. By the way, let me ask you something. Does this princess know that you're in the netherworld right now? Uh, well, uh, actually, I protect her from a distance, so she probably won't even recognize me. <laughs> what? You mean, she doesn't even know you exist? E yes Hmm, then there must be some merit to rescuing her, right? Status, reward, honor, and do you get the princess too? <laughs> get the princess? <laughs> <laughs> of course not, I just want to pr protect her! <laughs> Crazy delinquent? Or maybe you're just a fool. Why would you risk your life for someone who doesn't even know you exist? Are you stupid? It's incomprehensible! <laughs> you don't have to be so mean. But no matter what anyone says, I can withstand any hardship if it's to help the princess. I think. Hmm. For a coward like you to say such a thing. Aha! I get it. This is that love thing or whatnot. What are you talking about? I can't have those kinds of ambitions for a princess. <laughs> I just think a fake hero like you would have this mysterious love quantity. You sure are an interesting guinea pig. <laughs> I need to observe this love up close. It seems I'll need you to be my slave even after I give you back your fake hero title. <laughs> so Mal's into that kind of thing, is he? <laughs> oh, please don't get your hopes up. I do want to go home eventually. Stuff. All right, let's uh, let's get healed. point I have got to get better gear. Um how is my mana? Whoops. Okay, you have plenty of mana for uh, boosting your skill. You do too, Mal. Alright, let's get that taken care of first of all. That's what we got. 
You have to be really careful with uh, boosting the main character's skills, though, because uh, I said this before, but you can't unboost them. Ooh, that looks nice. Heal something. Heal gain. Good to me. And another thing. Attention. Attention. A new teacher has arrived. Whoops, not him. There was a, another one. He was a zombie and he uh, boosted defense. I guess I kind of skipped past him. Name's Mr. Lee. This guy. I guess he raises uh, hit, maybe, or speed? I have no idea, actually. There really isn't a whole lot to be done here. Just wanted to show off the teacher and I got a different teacher. Time to buy some weapons! in need of weapons. You are, definitely. Okay, uh, first things first, give, get the thief a better gun. Forty-three caliber magnum. just barely enough to not dislocate your shoulder when you fire it. Alright, gonna save the game. Now we've done... now that we've taken care of that, 20 minutes into the stream and we've only done a single level. Onward! To the Heart Vault! This was a short chapter. Wow, that is a big door. What is this place? This is the deepest part of the heart. What a tiny heart! We're already at the end? I heard that hearts are huge and complicated. Was that all a lie? Wait, huh? Who are you? Another Lord Mal? I am the Gatekeeper. What business do you have here? I'm looking for a fake hero's title. Do you know where it is? The title of hero is preserved preciously inside this vault. Then open this door now! I need to slap this fraud with his own He really fake does title. want to be a hero. I will not. This vault shall only open and close as I will it so. What? I am your true heart. Unless you truly wish it from the bottom of your heart, this vault will not open. What's going on? You said that you want to open it. Does this mean you really don't? That's not true! I believe from the bottom of my heart that I want to shove your fake title straight up your... No matter what you might think on the surface, this door will not open unless your true heart wishes it to do so. What's going on? I thought you were going to give me back my title. Can't you see I'm a little busy here? I really don't want a fake hero title. I truly, truly want to get rid of it! Oh, and what makes you so sure? <laughs> open this door! If you refuse, then I'll bust it wide open! It's useless to use force. Even if you did open it, I assure you the contents would... End of discussion! Vaults aren't meant to be open. They're meant to be cracked! <laughs> Something doesn't feel right. 
Anyway, I don't think using force is a good way to solve anything. A demon must commit acts of taboo to remain cool and popular. More of the demon oath? It seems to be the complete opposite of the hero oath. Then you should know that it's perfectly reasonable for me to break into this vault. Besides, this is my heart. I can do whatever I want. Let's go. Shenanigans. <laughs> they happen. There's stuff going on back here. There's also stuff going on here. These geo cubes are going to be a problem if we don't get rid of them. Fortunately, we have a perfectly serviceable uh, weakened enemy 50% geo cube here. Rather face a plus zero percent of an enemy than a plus hundred percent. You should try eating more oatmeal. This guy is a male healer, otherwise known as a heretic. Elemental damage to adjacent allies decreased by 50%. I could throw the printy, but then he'd explode all over everybody else. New animation for impaling the mob. It's pretty great. We all need that chest. That's what happened. Just got the one guard left now. Ha! He missed. Ah! 
That's what happened. Ooh, Imperial Seals. Justice Legion Netherworld! Hey, who were those guys? They were your cholesterol. They were your heart's self-defense mechanisms. Since truly precious items are kept here, we are very careful when it comes to security. What? That title of fake hero is precious? It's just a piece of junk! That is for me, the true heart, to decide. I wonder what's going on. Mal seems pretty sure that he doesn't want my hero title. But does this mean that he and his true heart have separate minds? Does this mean that demons actually have a complicated heart? Or is it just Mal who's especially complicated? Either way, items that end up here are not so easily removed. <laughs> Which means there is a way to get it. Enough with your opinions. Just tell us how to open this stupid door. All right. In order to open this door, you will need to open your heart with your true thoughts. My heart? No way. How in the world did... Just thinking about it gives me the chills. But isn't that easy? Can you hear yourself? Opening your heart requires you to submit. Any demon would rather die. I've never even thought of doing such a humiliating act. I'm the number one honor student, for Mal's sake! Wow, being a demon sounds pretty hard. Maybe you should ask those delinquents. Ah, yes. They may know a super-duper act of delinquency for opening hearts. Excellent. All I have to do is ask. <laughs> yes, evil brain. Always make others work hard before trying it yourself. What an evil plot indeed! But it was my idea. A wise demon once said, What's yours is mine, and what's mine is also mine. <laughs> you have a problem with that? Or do you not want to get your title back? No, no problem at all. Then just be quiet and obey me. Let's go. <sighs> this is pitiful. I can't even talk back to a kid. Protecting the princess is going to take a miracle. Mal, you must open your heart from the bottom up, or you will never escape the curse of internal suffering. Oh, so he's not even a real hero? Too bad. I thought I finally found a rare spawn. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a normal spawn. Not your fault. My eyes were clouded. Sorry for thinking you were someone special. Please accept our apologies, fake hero. <laughs> Rasbarrel, the queen of passive aggressive um, kindness. Can you stop calling me fake hero. Something. It's what I do, not who I am. So, Mal, what do you want from me? I doubt you came just to clear up the confusion. Something to do with his title? Yeah. Even with my evil intelligence, there's one thing I can't figure out. <laughs> and what might that be? How to open my heart. Use a scalpel. <laughs> Open your heart? Even Our Lady would never dare to attempt such an outrageous act. Wah! How horrid! I just bobbed it in my mouth a little. <laughs> you sure do come up with the craziest ideas sometimes. Look, I can't stop my fist from shaking. Hmm, I guess opening up your heart is a really big deal for demons. My lady, why don't you tell them about the Forbidden Land of Mystery? About what lies in the old school building? Stop, Kyoko. But my lady, we can't ignore the plight of the fake hero. He needs our help. The old school building, you say? Oh my! Do you not know about it? Legend has it that an evil dragon lives there. Asuka! Why not, my lady? An honor student seeks to do something no delinquent has ever succeeded in. We should be forthcoming. Fine, you got me. You two are such earnest badasses. That's why you're such cool girls. My lady. Now, if you're serious about opening your heart, go find the legendary dragon at the old school building. And what happens after that? If you eat its egg sunny side up, your heart is supposed to open. <laughs> That's incredible. I see. And you're supposed to eat it with hot sauce, right? Hot sauce? Fake hero, are you one of those salt and pepper on his eggs guys? 
because I kill every one of them. <laughs> of course not. Best hot sauce. Now, I highly advise you not to go unless you're willing to risk wasting the rest of your life. Many badasses have tried to open their hearts, only to be lost to the building. No one has ever returned alive. <laughs> ah, Farrell. Are you scared? No way! All I'm saying is, I don't think you can handle it. <laughs> I'll bet those losers were just all too weak. It's such a bother being treated the same as everybody else. <laughs> My evil eyes have glimpsed the future. I've eaten the egg, and I've seen the terrible evilness of my opening heart. Why is your heart opening up such a terrible evil? <laughs> you never lacked confidence. Well, I warned you. Whatever happens is your own fault. Kyoko, Asuka, let's go. Yes, my lady. Have a nice day, both of you. Delightful little I'll children from down the lane. For your the legendary dragon that nests in the forbidden building. <laughs> what an interesting research topic. Um, are we really going there? Of course. Don't you want your title back? Well, of course I want it back, but then let's get going. Don't forget to bring the hot sauce, fake hero. Shenanigans. Let's see what people have to say. <laughs> Pretty mask. He secretly lives inside that statue. Go away. You're hit with an ABC gun. <laughs> <laughs> A legendary chef. <laughs> Shenanigans. <laughs> Young master, I've been waiting for you. I thought you might do this, so I've prepared a gate to the old school. That's fast. Were you spying on us? <laughs> yes. Rumor has it that the forbidden Whoa. building is very dangerous. Uh, I've made a direct connection to the dragon's nest. Hmm, just as I expected, Jeffrey. So unnaturally efficient, as always. Come, fake hero. Wait, wait a minute. We can't just go jumping into the dragon's lair. You always have to grind a few levels first. Already did. Fool! I don't even know the meaning of the word level grinding. I must eat the dragon egg and open my heart as soon as I can. I have no time to waste on repetitive battles. Uh, first of all, I don't really believe any of this egg eating business. But if they can walk around inside their hearts, I guess it could work for demons, somehow. Wait up, Mal! Ah, it's you again. So you're really going, huh? For honor students like you, the Forbidden Land is like a convenient graveyard. If your words could scare me, I wouldn't be reckless enough to attempt opening my heart to begin with. I am fully prepared for my journey, and I won't let you stand in my way. Doesn't seem like he wants to open his heart, so why is he so determined to do this? It's impossible. There's not even the slightest ray of hope. I guess he really hates my title. Though, that is what he said, so maybe I should pay more attention. You really do look prepared, Mal. I won't try to stop you. But in return, we're coming with you. What? Why? This has nothing to do with you. Go to class like you always do. Lucky for us, it's the weekend. Yes, we've finished our homework and have already read up for next class. This is quite a predicament, Miss Rasbarrow. I would prefer that you not interfere with the young master. 
Oh, Mr. Jeffrey, you've got the wrong idea. I don't want to join him. I just want to see for myself whether or not the legend is true. And I want to see if the great honor student now can actually pull off this outrageous stunt. However... Don't worry. I'll take care of Mal for you. Oh, this man. This is quite disturbing. Even I didn't expect this to happen. It's all right, Jeffrey. They're just afraid of me. If an honor student like me can open my heart, the number one delinquent won't have much to brag about anymore. <laughs> Relax. I believe in me. If you insist, young master, I pray for the worst of luck. Mr. Jeffrey really does care for you a lot, huh, Lord Mel? You just realized that now? Of course! He's my hand-picked personal butler. He's the best in the business. <laughs> Let's go! Dragon's Rest. The old schoolhouse, a.k.a. the Forbidden Building, is the oldest building that remains of the Academy, which continuously rebuilds and expands. It is located in the deepest center, but its gates have been closed tight, and one can only see its interior by traveling across dimension gates. But, since its closure, the situation inside still remains a mystery, since no one who enters has ever returned. The interior of this ancient building is full of danger, unbeknownst from its abandoned appearance, it remains unexplored, where even daredevils hesitate to enter. This building's getting pretty old. I've gotten rid of the dragons, so I'd better get on with the rebuilding. Huh. I sense others nearby. Great, I'm uber shy. Uber shy. <laughs> I heard lots of rumors about this place. A famous one is about a legendary honor student who ate a dragon egg and turned into a legendary delinquent. Aren't you curious being an honor student and all? Fine, let's hear it. But only if it tells whether he ate it with salt and pepper or hot sauce. <laughs> you really hung up on that, huh? It's my greatest concern at this point. One of my goals is to make hot sauce the official condiment for eggs. <laughs> you still hate salt and pepper? Disliking things is key to being an honor student. Who wants to eat all their vegetables? <laughs> we eat everything on the plate. Food group be damned. No honor student can claim that. Our lady eats all the school lunches for our absent classmates. And since everyone is always absent, that's like 30 lunches a day. How is that even possible? <laughs> Once I take home ec, I'm going to make you a feast that you'll eat to the very last bite. More of your useless meddling. Huh? So you've never gone to a home economics class, Miss Barrow? But I thought you had perfect attendance. I do, but home ec's a special case at this school. No one knows where the kitchen room is. And none of the teachers have ever seen the home ec teacher. None of the fearless badasses who went looking for the cooking class have ever been seen that yet. That is some hardcore cooking. The school is full of stories about never being seen again. There it is! That's the dragon egg, right? That was pretty easy. We didn't even see the shadow from this legendary dragon. Shouldn't there be more action and adventure than this? Fool, stop daydreaming! Reality is never that romantic! Hey, stop right there! <laughs> Who dares tell me what to do? Cooking is love! Cooking is power! See you here! Cooking is serenity. More weirdos. I wonder if they're comedians. <laughs> order! We are chefs! Under order from a master, we will take the dragon egg! <laughs> you plan to steal from an honor student? <laughs> I'll slice you up and serve you smoked with my dragon egg breakfast! Let's go! The desks heal you. Okay. Oh, 
Oh no, <laughs> it's Cyberbots. Whoa, what happened to, to, to your HP? Did I forget to heal people? I think I forgot to heal people. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant, Asuka. Just KO'd your partner. Here, have a twirly. Actually, here, have a printy. Spinners, the female martial artists. You misspelled find. That is terrible. But yeah, you can't count on your counterattacks with these guys, apparently. I'll save you, Barrel! Actually, I'll do more damage if I attack from the side. One more. What the do? What the do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that can't. 
camp. Okay. Okay, I missed out on a little bit of the XP, but that's fine. So this is the legendary dragon egg. If if only I eat this egg, that would make you the number one delinquent of all time. Indeed, in all of our long history, no demon has ever successfully opened up their heart. So if I eat it, I'll stop Mel from becoming a badass, and I'll snag the title of number one delinquent forever! But even though that'll solve all my problems, I just can't do it! Stealing is for honor students! <laughs> even if I did hey there, like that, That's I wouldn't good. be following the badass <coughs> way! It would be so uncool! I couldn't stand to face the light of day! My lady... If by any chance Mao does open his heart, he'll just have to find a way to be a bigger badass than him. That's why we're such good enemies. And friends. And ultimately, rivals. Amazing, my lady. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> hey, Beryl. What's wrong with this egg? I can't seem to crack it. Really? You can't even crack a defenseless egg, and you call yourself an honor student? <laughs> Are you saying that a delinquent can? With what I do on a daily basis, I can crack it in one shot. <laughs> it's impossible. You can't crack that egg. You guys are still here. The only one in the entire netherworld who can cook that dragon egg is our master. If I had more time, I would have found its harmonic seam, where it's most vulnerable. But seeing as how there's a quicker way, tell me where your master is. He's in the Holmet cooking lab. However, it's virtually impossible to find. You could spend a lifetime trying. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm the Academy's number one honor student. Your kitchen will be no problem to find. For my butler! <laughs> You're not gonna find it yourself? We're going back for now. Big hero, roll that egg behind us. <laughs> Is this egg really gonna open up Mal's heart? Maybe I should just give up getting my title back and become a demon. It'll sure be easier. What's wrong, fake hero? Do you want us to help you? Huh? Oh, thanks, but I'm alright. I'll carry it myself. Don't worry. Are you sure? You look kind of pale. If you need anything, I'll always be there to listen. Just come to see me. A demon worrying about me? How could I even consider giving up on my title? It's all that demonic title's fault. I have to do something about it quick, or I'll be a demon before I know it. I have to get Mao to open up his heart with that sunny side up egg and return to my real body. Today's 10 gents, Space Detective Pretty Mask. He does construction. The end. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a face we haven't seen yet. Home Economics Kitchen Room. This is where students are forced to endure harsh training to develop a strong mind and learn to cook on par with a professional chef. Speaking of legendary chefs, it is assumed that they bathe in boiling water or oil and sleep on the blades of their knives to <laughs> understand their ingredients ordeal. This fierce training is conducted by one of these legendary chefs. 
the home economics teacher. <laughs> the regiment is harsh with such drills as fasting for a month and living with violent ingredients. <laughs> Everyone tries to drop out at least once. <laughs> but it is completely isolated from the outside world, making escape impossible. Cooking is hardcore. If you wish to return alive, you have no choice but to finish the training and become a professional chef. Sorry to keep you waiting, young master. I finally managed to somehow find the home economics kitchen. What took so long? You're usually much more efficient than that. Oh, I sincerely apologize. I had a bit of trouble with his amount of secrecy. He slipped through my vast network. You should hmm. not underestimate him. He is no ordinary home ec teacher. To be able to give you a hard time, he must be a skilled professional. At least the whole mystery surrounding the home ec class will finally be revealed. Looks like I'll actually be able to go to all my classes, surprisingly. And all thanks to my healthy work ethic. Shouldn't all the credit go to Mr. Jeffrey? <laughs> oh, nonsense. It was all in the service of our young master. <laughs> Say, Lord Mao, instead of complaining about how long it took, shouldn't you at least thank him? Absolutely not! A demon must never give thanks. A demon must only take. <laughs> A true demon is always evil and cruel, and strong, strong, strong! The path to Overlord is paved in blood. Sorry, I didn't know. Ah, excuse me. <clears throat> uh, giving thanks is a mild-mannered act of delinquency. I would like for our young master to become the top demon of the netherworld as soon as possible. That is all I wish. Well, aside from whatever that'll take, you really do cherish Lord Mal, don't you, Mr. Jeffrey? <laughs> well, duh! That's what a butler is for, isn't that right? I will continue to use you to your full capacity. Yes, of course. Please request anything of me, young master. not even use these items at all. Maybe I should just put them away. These can stay. and they're hiding behind geocubes. But... Really? Alright, well how about this? Our ranged attacks can shoot right through them. Power decrease stats of adjacent female enemy units by twenty percent. Don't do drugs, kids. Lose your stats.
Recover 20% HP of adjacent ally units at end of turn. Kitties! Damage taken for monsters decreased by 50%. Kitties! We got kitties! Kitty, 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 kitty. Can't even see what's happening. Get out of the way, cubes! They're even worse than triangles. Awesome! Can now make a rogue, which, as we all know, is the uh, the second tier thief. We probably want to do something about that. As a matter of fact, I say that since it is eight o'clock, now is the time when we will uh, end this episode for now. I know it's a little shorter than my usual episodes, but I promised my parents I would go to Rita's and get them some Italian ice tonight, so better do that before they close. <laughs> I might be back later with the other half of this episode, maybe. So yeah, we will see you guys then. And I'll post something in Twitch chat and in the... Uh, in the IRC channel and then if I'm ready to do stuff. So yeah.